Hi, I'm Brian D'Souza. I'm a DJ, music psychologist, and founder of Open Your Music. Today I'm gonna to talk about some of the mistakes that businesses commonly make when playing music and give you some tips on how to avoid them. One of the biggest faux pas that businesses can make is not aligning their music with their brand. Obvious examples include you know, heavy metal in a fashion retailer or techno in a, in a small cafe. But in nowadays, listener is much more savvy than that. They are much more demanding when it comes to the music they listen to when they experience a brand. And that means brands have to get creative when it comes to their song selection. G1 Group are one of the biggest bar and restaurant groups in Scotland, with over 50 different bar and restaurant brands within the group. We work closely with our ops and marketing team to create individual musical identities for each of those different brands. Specifically, their city centre bars have a musical soundtrack that is much more appealing to a younger demographic, whereas their out-of-town restaurants and hotels have a musical soundtrack that's more appealing to older clientele and families. Playlisting for business is vastly different from playlisting for your personal use. If you're open 12 hours a day or maybe more as a business, you, you get through a hell of a lot of music. In a 12 hour period, probably around 200 to 250 songs. That means you need to continually update and have larger playlists to ensure that you limit repetition. So volume is the easiest thing we have to control, but often the hardest to get right. We've all been in business premises that play music too loud, and the effect of that is can leave us straining to hear and exhausted after a while. On the other hand, businesses that play music too quietly can have little impact at all. Your music should be loud enough so your customers can identify a song, but soft enough so it doesn't infringe on conversation. And most importantly, volume levels should be consistent throughout the space. Silence most definitely is golden, but it's almost impossible to achieve in any urban environment. You have so many sources of noise to contend with. Traffic noise, kitchen clutter, or just general chatter. Music can be used as a sound masking tool. And that means it can dampen the effect of adverse random noises and also provide an ambient backdrop that gives more privacy to conversations. I meet many businesses who don't fully understand the world of music licensing. The most important thing to remember is that if you're gonna play recorded music, you usually need a music license from both PPL and PRS for Music. These organizations ensure that the people that create the music get adequately paid for their work.